Good morning, everybody. Uh, this is Amin Mojara with Imagination Everywhere in the Rie Institute. And this, in this part one of this series, uh, this video, there's a two-part video series in which we're going to show you how to install ZenCart and enable SSL um, all in one shot. So let's get to it. The first thing we need to do is, in the last video, I showed you how to create a subdomain with GoDaddy. After you create your subdomain, and I'm going to be using this domain here called clients.imaginationeverywhere.info. Um, after you go in, and if you're using Plesk or cPanel, it doesn't matter, just make sure that when you create the hosting account, um, that uh, you don't put everything in a single directory in your HTTP uh, docs directory. Um, don't use a single directory. It enable SSL, but don't use a single directory. That's important. The other thing is make sure you create a uh, MySQL database. And in this case, I created a MySQL database called IE Clients. So that is the database I'm going to be using to install uh, uh, ZenCart. The other thing is make sure you correctly have your SSL certificate um, installed on your server. I'm not going to go through that. Uh, because there are different ways uh, depending on the type of um, account that you have. I have a dedicated GoDaddy server. Um, it's a CentOS server, so that's what, what I am using. So um, let's get into it. Um, the, as you can see, the domain right now has nothing on it. You know, this is clients. Dot, um, uh, uh, imagination everywhere. Dot info, and as you can see, it's HTTPS. Uh, clients dot imagination everywhere dot info so after you have your certificate installed on your server the thing that you want to do is in order for somebody not to type in www dot whatever your domain name is and it to be directed to your um, your in order to utilize your SSL certificate you must load all of your all of your um, content in what's called the HTTP docs, HTTPS uh, docs directory instead of your HTTP docs directory, which is where your non-secure doc, uh, document is. We're going to be securing the whole site so that we're going to be putting everything in this directory right here. Now, what you have to put in your HTTP docs directory is what's called an HT access file. So let's go ahead and create one of those right now. I went into Notepad++, and all you need in your HT access file is these three lines: the options plus follow, uh, sim, sim links, the rewrite engine on, and the rewrite rule. And then you put in um, the in parentheses, and then you put in this piece of code here. Uh, you put your domain name, uh, https. Dot clients. I mean backslash backslash clients uh, dot imagination dot everywhere imagination everywhere dot info and then you make sure you put all this you rewrite it to uh, port 301 uh, which is the uh, type of HT access file that we have make sure you save it as a dot HT access file um, and again make sure you put the S before that so that it'll reroute to everything in that directory which is the HTTPS docs directory that's what we want and then after you do that, you use your FTP client, uh, which in this case I'm using um, FileZilla, and you go to your HTTP docs directory, and if I do that, and you go to your folder, and I saved it in this folder right here on my local machine. Here's my HT access file, that file that you just seen, and what you do is just you just click on it, and you upload it to the HTTP docs, not the HTTPS uh, docs directory, to the HTT, to the non-secure directory, and it is uploaded, and it disappears once you upload it, so just to let you know it disappears, but it was successful, as you can see, it was successful, transfer complete, because that is a protected file, and so whenever anybody types in that, your main URL, they're going to be redirected to your HTTP docs directory so if we go back to that directory what we do is I'm going to go to the main Zen cart folder and I'm going to go ahead and upload the Zen cart uh, zip file so to the, to the HTTP docs directory 
that's what we're going to do is we're going to upload it to this directory right here so I'm going to go ahead and upload and if you have a fast internet connection it doesn't take it no time to do it um, mine is taking a little bit longer if you if I zoom in down here it's uh, 34 percent 36 38 percent done and so uh, it's getting done it's getting there it's getting there FileZilla is real good at showing you all this so it's loading everything up and we've got everything loaded on um, we got the zip file loaded on the server in the HTTP docs directory so now we need to unzip that file so you have to use an SSH client such as putty is which I have installed on here and you can get putty um, from just Google put in putty in Google and then just click on the first thing that you get uh, which is putty the free uh, telnet SSH client and so I'm gonna go into putty and I'm gonna type in my domain name which is imagination everywhere dot info and I'm gonna type in my FTP login and the password okay and I'm logged in now make sure you I have a subdomain so clients is the subdomain so I gotta find out what's in my directory this is all the stuff in my directory and let me zoom in I typed in the command dir to find out everything in the directory and I'm gonna go to the subdomains directory so I'm gonna type in CD which means change directory subdomains and let's see uh, and I typed in directory so I'm going to go into the clients directory so I'm going to go change domain clients and I'm going to find out what's in this directory and as you can see we have the config the CGI bin the error docs we have the HTTP docs and the HTTPS docs so I'm going to go into the HTTPS docs and dir directory and as you can see there is that zip file so all you have to do is highlight this don't press don't right click or anything like that just highlight it and then use the command uh, the command unzip and then just right click you don't even have to paste just right click and bam it unzips so now we can get rid of that zip file and we use the clan uh, the command rm remove dash root files and then we right click again to get rid of that zip file and let's see what's in the directory now bam we got all these in the directory so if we if I zoom out and I refresh bam as you can see here it is here's everything in that directory so that's how easy it is for anything that you're doing when you're unzipping things that's why it's it's very important that you use a command uh, line SSH client like putty and so if we go back here is the uh, default page that was before we installed those files so if I refresh it Bam, we're ready to start. We're ready to install Zencart. And as you can see, we're at the HTTPS. So it, what if I typed in, if I took off the HTTPS, if I took off the S, and I just did HTTP clients.imaginationeverywhere.info, what's going to happen? Bam, it's automatically going to be redirected to the Zencart uh, situation. So in the next video, we'll be going ahead and we're going to install uh, Zencart and we're going to enable SSL for that whole situation.